And in this video, I'm going to install a Progressive Industries EMS HW50C, which is a electrical management system. And HW means hardwired, 50 of course means 50 amp. This is actually a combination of a surge suppressor plus a method to monitor the voltage both high and low. And this will disconnect the RV automatically from the shore power if the voltage is either too high or too low or some other fault. So it's really a nice thing to have in the RV. It just takes a little bit of work to install it. And when you remove the unit from the box, it comes like this. And the top comes off. And inside you have a extension cable, the remote, and the remote is just a little display unit. Now it's kind of funny, I know of one person that had a dealer install this and the first one they got in said, well, the remote was missing. Well, <laughs> it wasn't missing, it was inside the box. So, so much for the qualification of an installing dealer. And as well, here's a couple toroid coils that are in a little protective wrapper. So essentially to install this, you cut your inlet cable in two and run one in each end and just connect this to it. From an electrical perspective, it's not a hard job to do, but it may be a little bit more difficult if you've got to crawl under things. One thing about this uh, EMS system that is really nice is that these boards are field replaceable. And you know, there is one thing I don't like about this, and that's this cable clamp. It just does not seem like it really holds this tight, because I've got it tightened down as far as I can. And with one hand, look at that, I can pull it right out. In this first graphic, this is how my RV is set up. I've got a breaker panel in the RV, of course with a receptacle on the exterior which connects to an external power cord. The cable that goes from the receptacle to the breaker panel within the RV is a service entrance type cable equivalent to type SE, SEU, or SER. Now this is the same type of cable that is used in households to go from your meter on the outside of your house to your breaker panel. So it's appropriate for use in here. And this has a smaller diameter typically than what the one and one quarter inch clamps are appropriate for. In other installations, they do not use the service entrance type cable, but they use the same type of cord that is used in the external power cord for the internal circuit from the receptacle to the breaker panel. And this cord is a little bit larger in diameter and it's more appropriate for the one and one quarter inch clamp. Now why some RV manufacturers use this type cord versus the standard service entrance cable? I can only guess that it's probably cost. And I'm reminded of a third situation. In fact, I had this in my Class C RV, although it was a 30 amp system. And in that RV, the power cord was wired directly to the breaker panel and it didn't even have an outside receptacle. So this power cord was permanently attached to the RV. And again, the one and a quarter inch clamp is more appropriate here. So it all comes down to whether you need to change those clamps out or not. And it all depends on what type of wire is used to wire into your breaker panel. And so I was able to find these Heiko glands. And to get the right size for the wire, I had to get one inch glands. So at the electrical store, you can buy a reducer that will reduce the one and a quarter to a one inch. Now when I say one and a quarter to one inch, those are actually the sizes of the conduit and you can get a cross reference to give you the actual dimension. So the actual HACO part number that I used, these reducers and such, I'm going to have on my website so you can look at them if you need to. And unfortunately the HACOs do not come with the nut, so I just used a EMT nut. These cord grips are going to grip a whole lot better than the ones that were on the thing originally, so I'm really happy with that. So I got a little pigtail on here, and this is the end that's going to go to the breaker box. And I tell you what, when you have to wire in these two little coils, it is a whole lot easier to do this where you can get to it like on a desktop than if you're inside trying to figure out how to do it. Now these coils. Um, this is marked green. This is not marked. And what these coils basically are, are kind of a permanent version of this. So they do measure the current going through them. 
I tell you, there's just no easy way of doing this. You just got to be a contortionist to get to the back of this panel. When it disconnected the wiring, they actually cut through when they were trying to remove the insulation, I guess. How, how can you do that? So I got to trim back a little bit of the wiring. Another fine quality job by the RV manufacturer. And really, there was not a whole lot of available space to put this EMS box. And so what I did is I built a platform consisting of this riser, a piece of plywood in the back. And so I ended up essentially making my own mounting location for it. And it's going to be a little bit difficult to remove if i got to service it, but not impossible. And I've got, you see here, plenty of wire slack on both ends so I can pull the box and move it in and out or whatever I need to do. And if you look at the box, it's designed to surface mount, but then you got this cord on the surface. And, you know, I just hate mediocrity. So what I did is I had a front panel made, and I put some standoffs on here like that. And then I'm going to flush mount it. So now we're going to have to drill a hole up here for it. And so now we've got uh, the EMS panel on there. It's a nice flush mount. It looks really nice. And it's in bypass mode right now. So I'll turn it on. And we're only hooked up to 30 amp right now. So we're not going to see exactly the same as what we'd see when we're on full 50 amp. But as we scroll through here, we have E0, which is status normal, line 1, 121 volts, 0 amps, line 2, 121 volts, 1 amp, 60 hertz, and back to E0 again. So we've got a little card here that tells you the error codes. Just keep it in there. So there we go. Another project finished.